What's up YouTube? It's Melissa coming to you from the beautiful country roads of West Virginia and today I am going to play in the dirt because it's raining outside. It's pretty dreary and nasty and I have some things I want to do. This is a brief interruption to ask you to please not judge me for allowing you to come into my messy office. This is the room where a lot of things happen. We homeschool, we sew, we craft, we start seeds, we keep lots of books and things. And so, how much can one redneck girl do? I'm not a redneck. How much can one country girl do in a 10 by 10 room? We're about to find out. This is a judgment-free zone. I bought some gladiolas at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a bag. I got 12 of them for $3. I'm going to go ahead and put them in pots with dirt and let them get a jump start on the season. I've never done that before. We're going to give it a go, see what happens. And I bought these Aztec lilies at Lowe's. I got eight of them for $6.98. And they are already growing. You know, when we go to Lowe's or we go to box stores or wherever, nurseries, you can buy lilies in pots and they're yay tall. So that's, I'm going to go ahead and give those a jump start as well. I am also going to start some flower seeds. Coleus, Portaluca, Pansy, Lupin, Purple Coneflower, which are my favorite, and two types of beets, a hybrid harrier and an avalanche beet, which is white. I already got some pea pellets prepared and ready to go. I am also going to use some six pack cells and pots that I had laying around. I'll fill those with soil that I prepared by pouring into an aluminum pan and boiling water. I'll pour the boiling water into the soil just to kill any fungus, gnat larva, or anything funky that might have gotten into the bag of soil from the store. A lot of you might know what I'm talking about if you've had this happen to you. As I was filling my seed cells, I noticed that the potting soil I was using had some large clumps in it. I then decided to just go ahead and add a layer of peat moss to the top of each cell, hoping that it'll make the germination process for the seeds a little easier. Then I went ahead and made my labels for each kind of seed that I would be sowing just to get that step out of the way. Now it's time to start sowing your seeds. Just like in my last video, with these peat pellets, you want to break apart the top of the pellet. Then you want to stir up the top little layer of soil in each one. You want to aim to plant between one and three seeds in each pellet and bury it the depth that it recommends on the back of the seed packet. Most will say about a quarter of an inch. Some have very little, maybe an eighth or a sixteenth, in which case I don't even really bury them necessarily. I just kind of scratch up the soil and spray them in. After you get the seed buried to the depth that it recommends, you just spray it in, put your label in, and put it under your light source. That's really it, and you just keep repeating those steps until you have all of your seeds sown.
So that was it. It only took me a few minutes. And for those of you who watched the video last week, let me show you the little sprouties that we have. Everything germinated. Well, no, not everything. But some. So last week we planted brassicas and onions and put them under the grow lights. And there they are. Little babies. Oh, aren't you precious? Now, I think it's strange that that half of flowers hasn't germinated and this half has. Um, let me see what these are. So the poppies, sweet williams, yellow daisies, those have all come up. And the other ones, not yet. So yeah, we've got little baby broccolis and cauliflowers and cabbages. Some of the onions are moving kind of slow, but that's okay. All the little babies. Now it's time to fill the containers with dirt that we will plant the lily and gladiolus bulbs in. These bulbs are really nice size. I've ordered some from different seed catalogs that did not look this nice, so props to Lowe's for that. You can see that they've already grown quite a bit. The package direction says that you should plant them eight inches deep. And obviously in these pots, I can't do that. So I'm just gonna try to do the best that I can. Hopefully they'll get some good growth on them. And in a few weeks, I'll just plant them out all together. If I put four in each one of these two big pots, then when I put them out in the flower bed, I'll just plant all four of these together in one clump. I'm just basically trying to get them planted as deeply as I can without damaging any of their roots in hopes that they'll be well established. Now I'm just gonna go through and completely Fill the pots up with dirt as high as I can. Careful not to break any of the lilies off at the top where they've already grown so high. and just water them in. Now for the gladiolas. I'm putting two in each pot and just trying to get the holes down as deep as I can. When planting them, you wanna put the flat part on the bottom and the little what almost looks like a drop or the tip of a cupcake has a little point that should go facing up. I can see why they were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Some of them look like maybe they've started to mold a little or they're just a little old. So I'm pulling some of that off, careful not to damage it too much, but just to get some of that nasty stuff off of there. Again, I'm just filling the pots completely up with soil all the way to the top and then watering them in. Here it is, all the things we've planted in the last week or so. 
And the back is where I put the glads and the lilies. I did lay some towels down to protect the table and I kept the cardboard labels from the lily and glad bags that I set the pots on top of just to absorb some water and some mess. Hopefully here soon, we'll be able to see what they do. And these totes, you guys, they're awesome. That's basically a portable potting station. That's where all the mess is and that's all I have to clean. There you have it. We got all that stuff done. It's ready. Even though it's cold and rainy and dark outside, we've got stuff a growing. And I just really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. And as the season goes on, we'll be able to see what they do. If it works well, if it doesn't, just another exper experiment for us to see what happens. So if y'all are having a bad day, give it a day or two or three or a margarita or a good friend or a pet with your dog or a hug from your kid or a call from your mom or a walk, a run, an ice cream cone it will get better. It will. It always does. And most likely every little thing will be all right. And I will see you guys next time and we'll keep track of all these goodies. Till then. Bye.